But stomping, that's uh, apparently the first thing we're supposed to do. Yeah, make sure you're getting rid of them. Yeah, which is not what you usually typically hear when you're talking mm -hmm. about right. insects or anything. So right. these clearly are no bueno. And you know what? I think a lot of people would say that about the rain, but some people really need it, Matt. Boy, that is a good transition, Laura. Thank Kiss. you. I was really, from, <laughs> yeah. How are you going to get from spotted lanternfly to the rain coming in? Uh, here we are. You're absolutely, here we are, everybody. Uh, that's a true professional sitting there. Uh, Matt, Isabel, no, I'm just kidding. You guys are doing great. Uh, rain coverage, so we go throughout the evening. Yes, we need it. Do we want it? Well, it's okay because it's not on the weekend, right? But the problem is it is going to be here on the weekend. But notice rain coverage really picks up. It does not go away tonight. We're going to have periodic showers and down pours as we go throughout even that morning rush hour tomorrow all courtesy of a frontal boundary that's moving in the initial edge as I showed you you notice when you see some of those reds and oranges on radar it doesn't tell you they have a thunderstorm or severe weather it tells you you have heavy rain that's what the radar is detecting so we've got good downpours right now Lorraine County especially northern half of the county if you're driving 90 uh, out towards the the west you're certainly dealing with that uh, we've got heavy rain moving into the islands right now Port Clinton getting socked with some heavier downpours much needed rain for you out there and we've got Got a little line that's developed. No lightning with this yet. Just some good downpours. You probably see the real dark skies if you're in Mansfield out towards the Belleville area. That will move in, in another 15 or 20 minutes or so. And you notice we're not done yet. We've got quite a bit of rain. The whole Hoosier state's encompassed with rain right now. And the frontal boundaries back towards areas near Valparaiso, Indiana. That will head east as we go throughout the overnight. So we deal with round one and then round two moves in. But in between, I mentioned this yesterday, we have a nice day tomorrow. All right, we're going to kind of thread the needle between systems and it's not too cool. We should be up near 70 degrees tomorrow with some clearing, but then we deal with this for the weekend. Rotating area of low pressure will combine with uh, the tropical storm off the East Coast. All that comes together to form kind of a wet, damp, cold, I won't say cold, cool weekend uh, that we continue to highlight here. So let's take you National Design Mart hour by hour through the forecast. That initial line moves from west to east, should be from Ashtabula down towards the Youngstown area by 830. Rest of us dealing with a general light to moderate rain. That rain will continue as we go throughout the evening hours. We'll be in the 60s overnight tonight, so not too cool. Here's a secondary wave that comes in around 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. This is with the actual front, so we may have some rumbles of thunder with us as it moves through. Uh, you're going to be sleeping, hopefully, but you may be awakened by maybe a flash of lightning, but definitely some good downpours. Here's your morning rush hour. Still dealing with rain. We're clear out towards the west. That will be the trend throughout the morning. We'll still be damp outside. Lots of puddles for that morning commute, but watch how the sun comes out. We're still expecting not a bad day tomorrow. Could we spark a shower in the afternoon? Sure, but I think we have lots of sunshine. We're up near 70. Friday's not bad. Friday night football, not bad. We're in the 50s to near 60, comfortably cool but dry. Here comes that secondary front by midnight. Once this swings through on Saturday, temperatures drop. Notice we went from 58 to the 40 Saturday morning. That will ignite Lake Erie and we'll have lake effect showers, maybe some grapple, those little dipping dots over the weekend as well. Not dipping dots, but from the sky as we get into the Saturday night because we'll have some real cold air aloft. How much much needed rain do we get? Maybe a half inch to an inch with that initial batch, but look at the lake effect. Maybe another inch or so as you get out anywhere from pretty much Cleveland out towards the east, and we need it. This is the latest drought monitor. We have moderate drought in Ashtabula County. The rest of the state, in fact, 97% of the state is abnormally dry. Uh, exception being Erie County, who had some heavier downpours a couple weeks ago. Union Home Mortgage 7 day forecast. The weekend is cool. We'll be in the 50s, upper 40s when it's raining at times. It does look rainy, not a washout, but we will have numerous showers on radar as we go into the next week. We finally clear things out Tuesday, Wednesday. But you notice there's no big warm up in sight. We stay in the 50s and 60s, a very fall like forecast as we get in the next week. So I'm sure all of you hmm. dug into those sweater bins, got everything out and you're ready for fall. I mean, Ooh. I'm wearing velvet today, so I'm ahead of She's the trend, already ready. I would say. Um, let me put you on the spot really quick, because I know you love when I do that. I love it, yeah. Do you think that we've turned the corner to fall? Like, do you think we're going back after this to those warmer temperatures, or I've, is it hard we, to say? We could get another two or three day stretch of maybe some 70s from here on out. 80s are done, though. Okay. All right. Time. Very good. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Matt, 80s. Yeah.